the world has already turned its back on Palestinians, and in particular, Palestinians in Gaza. For 56 years, we have been asking the world to help us to get our freedom. And they've turned our backs to us for 56 years. And today, as we're facing these massive war crimes, instead of the world coming in and stopping Israel, they're actually serving as cheerleaders. And to just blanketly say that you support Israel is to support this and to support all of the years of policies that Israel has carried out, which have led us to this to this very spot. What we're seeing now is the natural result of decades of the denial of freedom. And what Israel witnessed over the course of the past um, few days is something that Palestinians have lived with for 75 years. We've lived with everything that they are now experiencing. But for us, it's just been stretched out for all of these years. And it is the height of dehumanization to somehow turn this into a, a situation where um, history only began on Saturday. This is the most documented place on earth. To not know what is happening in Palestine to, today is to feign ignorance when, when you cannot feign ignorance. There is no way that they don't know. They choose to look the other way because it's a combination of Islamophobia and because they simply don't want to hold Israel to account. These are countries that are now becoming complicit in the war crimes that Israel is perpetrating. What they're doing is what people like to term you know, shooting into a fishbowl. They're committing mass war crimes against Palestinians. And the fact that the world has turned their backs against us, against a civilian population, a child population, a stateless population, a refugee population, just shows where the world is today. I'm heartbroken, I really am. And I'm heartbroken because this isn't the world that I think anybody wants to be living in. And I don't think this is the world that the international community should be encouraging either.